can't use them, you know, but that's what it is. Like, a, oh, hey, hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Patterson's taking the trenches to bed. It's a Tuesday, just means that you U.S. politics. <coughs> I'll just touch first with the uh, official announcement commercial. I have to do these things like that, which is, uh, hey, I need your vote. Come November, what is it, 5th or whatever it is? Let me make a date right here. Make sure it's my self made calendar that I, you know, I made when I was in India here. Let me go to, let's see, it's like an 18 month calendar. I have a page, wrong page right there. When is it, November what? Oh, right, right here. We got food and dock right now. I'm dealing with that. And November here, it'll be November, yeah, November 5th. The first Tuesday in November is election day, and I want your vote. In other words, here's what I'd like you to do. Whoever you're going to vote for, I mean, you know, you get the major, whatever, whatever you have on there. There's got to be some place in there that you, I'm talking about the states, where you write in, right? And I need you to write in reparations. That's my name. Reparations. Actually, actually Anthony Reparations. So we just used my middle name for this one, right? Reparations. Now, this means, like, uh, like, say, for instance, you don't want either one of the candidates you write in. Take, this, take the time and, and go and write in reparations, right? If, uh, excuse me, just a second. If you know, hold on, hold on. I just got back to Cape Town, man. I forget. I'm allergic to the, 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 the fauna and the fauna, whatever that stuff is. Like, like that. Anyway, so say, for instance, you're in a, in a district where, you know, you know this congressman is going to win no matter what. Excuse me. No matter what. Then, you know, you don't have to vote. You know the guy's going to be in, right? Or the girl's going to be in. I'm sorry, the gal, whatever it is. Then you write in reparations. Because, he said, why are you going to do this, brother? Again, if you don't want to vote for any of the candidates, whatever have you, don't sit, well, you can sit at home, so I'm not telling you what what what, what not to do. But there's those people who, who have no skin in the game or who can finagle Finagle their way around and understand they just like to take a poll because this is you have to understand your vote is not a, a vote thing, it's a poll. <laughs> you poll at the polling place. You, well, in other words, your vote don't matter. You know, the the the, the people that you elect are beholden to donors and all kinds of all kinds of people behind this the stringy things, right? So the, so what this is what, what what election time is is an official poll. You know, like before you go in, they call you up and they say, hey, who are you going to vote for? And you can lie, right? Or after you come out of the, if, if, you, if you do vote and you come out, they say, well, who would you vote for? Well, you can lie because your vote is sacred. But whatever you put in there, that's official. A hundred years from now, 300 years from now, you can look back on the thing and say, hey, all these people voted for reparations. Hmm, what does that mean? You see? That's what I'm talking about. So if you don't want to uh, participate on, on a certain level, I would like your vote. Don't just sit at home. Come come early. At least watch the shenanigans. Okay, say for instance, you're one of those popcorn people, right? You're going to you bring your popcorn thing, you know, caramel pop, whatever it is, right? To, 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 uh, and you leave it in the car. You go in, write in reparations, right? Come back out and just <laughs> sit there in the car, eat your popcorn, watch people go by and get all upset and blah, 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 whatever they do, whatever they do. Okay, so that's it, fish enough. I'll, I'll announce again at the end of what we're we doing right now. U.S. politics. I know the big, the big, uh, the Donald in the room is that uh, the, the the president, I guess, well, well, Donald J. Trump got uh, shot at and actually got hit, you know, in, in the ear, the and um, and all kinds of things happening around it. This is hilarious to me. Now, I have to tell you, I'm a media person. Donald Trump's a media person. I'm not. This is not going where you think it's going. Let me put it this way. Everybody's saying they have all these, it's a fake, da 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 Let me just give you two media sources that you can you can check out. You have to listen to me. Check out and see what they say. Then as you check out all the other media sources, you can get what you're going to get. One is the Black Authority. The, the, you know, B1 people. The Black Authority. The other one is Judge Joe Brown with uh, the real Diane, whatever. The, the, uh, I had to write her a little note because, you know, technically she's always doing whatever it is, and they got this contentious thing going. Anyway, so those are two good sources, Judge Joe Brown and the Black Majority. That's for Jason Black, whoever. Those two those two sources, check out that, even as you're going to go with these other things, right? Now, let me get to what I'm saying about Donald Trump. Everybody says, Donald Trump's a media person. Yes, <laughs> he's a media person, right? But you keep on thinking a media person as a, well, as a media person. He was trained in the media. Well, he knows about the media. 
But also the media made him, but I don't mean politically made him, I'm going to get to it right now. I'm going to get to it. Now, understand this. Before he was a media person, when he was just, you know, the, the art of the deal, remember, remember, he wrote the art of the deal. The boy is a dealer. That's why I don't say dealer. I mean, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a businessman, man. Um, so, for instance, there's a story, oh, 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 no, I'm sorry, they always say he's a racist because he did the thing with the, the, the Central Park Five. Understand that, well, I'm not making excuses or anything, but the Central Park Five, he, he took out an ad and he kept on advocating for the Central Park Five to be, you know, lynched, strung up, or whatever, like that. I got you. I understand. I'm, I, you know, I'm not going to argue about that. That's, that's what happened, right? But also, remember, he's raised by, literally, raised by the mafia. <laughs> he's raised in Queens. In Queens, by the mafia, right? One of his, uh, one of his mentors is, is the Cohen boy, you know, the, 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 the House of Un-American Activity Cohen guy. That's one of his mentors. So before he came out of Queens, and his father, his father had, had Nazi ties and all the rest of that stuff. So that's the fabric that he comes from. That's what, if he's going to now go emerge into the world, he's got to not fight against that fabric, but that's what he's informed with. So he's got to deal with that fabric that he comes from, okay? Just let you know. We're setting this up. Follow me on this. Okay. Then he's, then he's running his, his father's thing. You know, they do all the things with the housing, don't let the black people in, but whatever, whatever they're doing with the housing, getting the getting grant, get, getting the money from the government, but, but dealing, whatever they're doing, right? That's racist, I understand. It's also business in, Amer in America, but we won't get into that right now because you're going to go crazy if I get into that. Now, there's another incident that I found, I was you know, listening, whatever have you, this woman, he had a woman, and she was very fantastic and, and, and basically getting people on his staff, whatever have And one of the people on time happened to be a black guy, right? But she came late, so she, to, to the, to, or somehow it got, got that he had to sit in the lobby at Trump, Trump Tower and uh, wherever the Trump thing was. And she came in and, and got him, and, and Trump had sworn him in the lobby, right? And then when, when the, everything was over, I, I don't know if he got hired or not, whatever it is, but Trump told her, don't you ever... Have a, basically, don't you ever have a black person, you know, in, in the lobby, in, 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 you know, in the lobby. Basically, that's, that's, I'm just, I'm making it simple for you, right? Now, listen to that. Now, you think that's racist, but the people he was dealing with, his clients, whatever have you, they're the ones that don't like black people. He can't have a black person sitting up there and be the, you know, I guess, black person, a black person be a secretary or something like that. They accept that, or maybe they don't. But the point is, he wants to, he, He's, he's the daughter of the deal. He's dealing. He, gives, he needs clients. The clients don't need him to, to say that, they, that he's dealing with a, a, a black client, too. Those racists, they don't want that. The people that got money, they don't want that. So understand that's the deal thing. So those are the two, uh, let's call it, uh, racial incidences that you might want to focus on to say Donald Trump is a racist. Right? But understand this. When he came out, now let, let me jump to something else. Oh, then, then of course, then now he's coming out and what he's using the uh, celebrity, not celebrity, but, you know, using celebrities and, 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 and rubbing shoulders with the influential celebrities of the day. That would be the rappers, that would be the movie people that are in, even in a movie for Home Alone 2. Yeah, I like Home Alone 2. I like Home Alone 1. Did I see Home Alone 2? The point is, like, so he's, he's now, no, no, he's out of Queens, right? Still in Queens. But he's, out, he's out of the influence of the of the what they have to do, that. but he's still the businessman, and now he's become a celebrity businessman because he knows that's what does the thingies, right? Okay. Now, let me do this real quick. Um, one of the things, how did Donald Trump get elected? Uh, you know, be, be elected. He got elected by the media. Let me tell you what happened. Okay, I know this because I'm a radio man. Let me tell you what happened. When Bill Clinton changed all the laws and then a few people can own rent radio stations or a TV station and a radio station or everybody in a newspaper in the same market, right? That consolidated things, right? Also, it made so like Clear Channel and them, or Clear Channel is one of the, one of the people that they consolidated things. And then they could own all these radio stations. And what they did is they went and, um, they went and basically, um, Offered these small radio stations in, in the mid, they call it Middle America, not the big, not the big, um, you know, city station. They said, "Well, look, we'll give you a free program, you know, and you can even have the rev We'll give you, we'll give you, uh, you play, you, you let our presenter on your on your station, 
and you can keep the revenue, or they make it split. You know, you you take I don't know, you take I'm just gonna make numbers up. You take seventy percent of whatever advertising you do. You only give us thirty percent, whatever it is. It was a sweet deal, right? So and so what they did, they basically started to fire all their 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 their, their local. Uh, presenters, you know, the people that you fall in love with, the you know, the, the morning guy from your area, the 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 the, 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 the woman who who knows that they, they fired all those people, and then you had they would hire one person, like say Rush Limbaugh, and he would be in all these stations, all the stations in all of the Midwest and the South and the and the North, whatever. You, they, so they, they 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 had one voice, right? And you just had to pay that person. Then they also did the automation thing, right? So if you have a little pop thing, you know, you have one central thing, so they get a whole lot of money, and the radio station gets, you know, the revenue they, they can still, you know, the, the big people at the radio station can still do what, they, do what they do. Okay, hold that thought, right? What had happened, or what happened, Donald Trump got elected the first time around, because nobody was paying attention. The person most that elected him, that, that, that was the most was Michael Savage. Michael Savage is like a Rush Limbaugh or whatever back in the day. Michael Savage. He would take, he would, you know, he's a, I'm not, I don't call him right wing like Michael Savage, Michael Savage is savage. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So all the people calling in, so he's taking a pulse of those people, those truck drivers, those people that's calling in from all the Midwest, blah, blah, blah. and then he's articulating what they're articulating. If you listen, if you really check out what, what Donald Trump was saying the first time, 2016, whatever it was, 2000, Whatever, whatever it was, right? Then you will see that he's really mouthing what Michael Savage's audience was saying. So he was talking to the mid America, and because Donald Trump had celebrity, then of course the big TV station and make revenue for them. They 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 hone it into Donald Trump. So he got elected on the sentiment of mid America or the the the, the flyover the flyover things. That's what it right like that. That's how he got elected. If you really look at, but if, I'm telling, check out his first term. He did not say anything against black people. He did not. He jumped on uh, 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 the immigrants coming over, whatever, the, whoever's jumping over the border. He even people missed this too. He talked about anchor babies. One of the biggest anchor baby scam was the Chinese, the rich Chinese. They were the, the wife is pregnant. She fly over. U.S. have a baby, get the papers, fly back to China or wherever Japan, wherever they were flying back to. He was more against them, but everybody missed that because they're focused on he's a racist, he's a racist, black people, he's a racist. I'm telling you, and the, look, the man pardoned Jack Johnson. Obama didn't pardon Jack Johnson. You know, the boxer with the whole you know the laws and running around with the young white girls and stuff like that. The point is, if you really look what he did that first. Whatever it is, he kept the Michael Savage crowd at the same time not saying anything against the black crowd, so you couldn't accuse him of it. In fact, in fact, oh, I remember this because I was, was, that, was that the first? I thought the first ADUS conference was that the second one? Just the, whatever conference that with with with, with the American descendant of chattel slavery conference. And while I was there, uh, Donald Trump was talking to some young black Republicans, and he was saying, "You built this. You built this country." He told him clearly, oh, Barack Obama never said that. He didn't even build the White House. He never said that. Nobody ever said that. All I'm trying to say, now, I'm not, oh, oh, now it sounds like I'm caping for, uh, for Donald Trump. I'm not caping for Donald Trump. I'm just trying to say, when you have, you have to stop letting your emotions, stop, oh, should I say this? I'm going to say this. Way. Stop being a, a whining broad. This, this is not an emotional thing. I'm, in fact, let me stop. Let me talk to men. Let me do, get the man first. Men, stop being bitches. <laughs> Use your brain. Look at the, the facts. I'm not telling you to vote for Biden. Uh, I'm not voting for either one of them. Biden, I can't do it because my brother died in jail. Blah, blah, blah. Get into all that stuff. Trump, and, and Trump, he's still controlled by those, those, those people, you know, those donors. And he's got his own agenda, you know. In fact, let me, I'm sorry, I'm jumping back forth. Let me go, what happened the first time? Just just second, let me wipe my nose. Uh, 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 uh. I realized when Trump was when when, when Trump first came on the scene, and everybody said, "Oh, Trump!" Da, 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 da. I said, "Why are you paying attention to him? He's going to do the bidding of, of his people." The, the rich people. Remember, he went to the Wharton School. He can't be no. I don't care. And if you 
you, he went to the Wharton School of Eco Economics, similar to the Sloan School of Economics. Well, I don't even get that. That means the boy got some kind of brains, right? And even if he don't have no brains, he's hobnobbing with those kind of people. He's a real estate thing in New York. He's hobnobbing with something. One of the most brilliant things he did when he started to run, what did he first? His security was ex-FBI, -F -F -X ex-whatever, like that. So that's how he, I, look, let me leave that one alone because that's going to be fly way over your head. My, my, I, I try to tell people when he first came, I said, Donald Trump is smarter than you think. That's what I told everybody that would that would hear my little voice, right? And I'll I, 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 I tell you a little thing. And and it was, in fact, it was July, that yeah, July or whatever before before that election, I saw something. It was that guy Ali G, the English the, the English guy that dressed up like a like a rapper and would uh, and would uh, would uh, 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 troll these like like had Newt Gingrich. They bring him in and they say something. They they say something stupid. You know, I think uh, whoever it is. Well, he tried that with Donald Trump. He came up with Donald Trump. Donald Trump said, what you got? And now we can say what you got. So whatever he said. And as soon as allergy started, he said, not interested. He got up and walked away. When he did that, I looked. I said, whoa, this guy knows. This was in July. But I said, no, here's what I said. I said, you know, he's running. He might, got a, he might have a shot. That's what I was in my head, right? Okay. Then we have this whole presidency, whatever it is. I mean, the whole thing with the media, you know, the, the empty podium, the whole thing. That that whole thing happened. Now, now this this term coming, this thing coming up right now. He's done some amazingly brilliant thing before this getting getting uh, um, uh, earshot, you know, and it's real. Believe me, look, I don't want to get into it. Like I said, listen to the the Black Authority or or, uh, or, or um, Judge Joe Brown, and you you'll understand. The, they, they have an analysis, right? And if you ain't been in the middle, I want to get into it. My point is, um, so right after the debate, he did the fact, I think it was Jason, uh, then Jason Black, and the Black, I can confuse the Black Authority as well as, um, well, anyway, they both said the same thing, and uh, a lot of people said the same thing. Or what Biden, what, what uh, Trump did right after the Biden thing was brilliant. He didn't say nothing. He sat back and let Biden be roasted by everybody else. That was a brilliant move. Now, what this happened with the shooting? Oh, Trump is your next president. Images and all kinds of reaction is going to be it. Now, now I know some people say, well, you know, when you get shot like that, or when you realize you're shot, you're in shock. But Trump is, when I say he's a media animal, you have an automatic reaction. And when, and you remember, he's still a. a People that know audience, he knows his audience is there. He, he may be in somewhat of a shock. You know, adrenaline is pumping, adrenaline is pumping, and pumping the, the, the blood out of his ear, or whatever. Have you. But he knows enough to say, "I'm all right." Dad <laughs> puts his fist up. In the air. <laughs> it's amazing. Image. He's got his fist up in the air. He got the American flag in the background, sort of skewed, right? Oh, it's an image. Like somebody said, that image now replaces the the Donald Trump. A uh, 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 mugshot, which was a great image too, right? Unbelievable, and plus the incompetence of the Secret Service, whatever have you. And then you know you don't have enough, you know you don't have big guys around to right keep him wrestled down. That was the other thing. He could get up. Uh, <laughs> I'm lost. I don't know. It's hilarious. I'm sorry. I got I'm a chocolate person. I gotta get me some dark chocolate covered popcorn because this season. I'm supposed to get to the United States in a few months. This season is going to be hilarious to me. But let me enter there. Not enter there. Let, let me go back to my political. Effect. But no matter what you're going to do, I want you to go to the polls because it's a polling thing. I don't, forget about voting. It's a poll. I need you to take a poll on my not my behalf. I'm a re, I'm a researcher. Here's the research I'm trying to do with this election. I, I need your help. I need you to write in reparations where you can because. In years from now, I want to see how many people say, oh, they don't want, people want reparations, they don't want reparations, but I just want to see what it is. So if you, if you don't have a, a dog in the race, or I'm sorry, an old white man in the race, or, or your congressperson is, uh, is, is, or your people who have senatorial votes or whatever, is guaranteed to win, then still go to the polls and write in reparations. I'd appreciate that. I'll continue uh, in, in the weeks. Every Tuesday is, is U.S. policy thing. So I'll just keep talking about my campaign as the weeks keep on going on. All right? Okay. That's it. Talk to you later.